so what's up you guys how's everybody doing today uh, today we're in my 2003 crown victoria lx um i was just making a quick video on explaining how to remove the overhead console in uh these cars so i don't know if the mercuries and all that have the same i'm sure they do i know the marauders do um the uh grand marquee that i had it was a 2003 as well it did not have this full console i actually don't remember what the console looked like i think it had just a two smaller uh lights on it and it was just a dome shape um and the crown victoria police interceptors obviously it's going to look a lot different uh just because they're very utilitarian very you know work vehicle ish so they don't have a lot of stuff they usually have a really big light right here that's round um that cops can use to you know do paperwork whatever um but anyways the main reason i pulled mine down was to do uh the lights in the front and the rear uh the front um i don't know bulb sizes so i will get those for you guys and put them in the description but i replaced both of these in the back um all i did to replace the, the front ones is remove this screw right here remove that screw right there and then that screw right there um there are torques i don't recall what size it is like i said i'll put that in the description also so that way everybody knows um same thing with this one um all i did was removed this screw right here as you can see and then i removed those two and you can just pull up on this tray and this will slide up and out and the obviously the wires will stay connected to it um the way to pull the actual uh console out is you're going to have three screws to remove so there's going to be two uh underneath where this is where this uh sunglass holder is you see the two holes right there and then you have the one screw that's up at the front that goes right here i'll show you what those look like uh the front screw is this chrome or this stainless one and then the other two are just really small black ones like this they're phillips um and then what you want to do <coughs> is when you want to pull the uh when you've got the screws out and you want to pull the overhead console off you need to get in a flat blade screwdriver and do it from the front first do not do it from the rear first do it from the front and you want to pry down and it'll pop out and then it'll, then you can remove it from the rear um all it has is these little clips right here just like the dash and the bezel and all that there's all of these and they just pop right out and they pop back in um and then you obviously have to remove your electrical connector and all you have to do is press this little tab down and it pulls out and that goes right here um pretty simple very explanatory uh very self-explanatory uh the sunroof if you have a sunroof in your car obviously you're not going to have but maybe half of this so you will have uh these lights and you probably will have the uh compass and these buttons right here and you'll probably have the switches right here um my 99 town car had a sunroof and i don't remember what it even looked like as far as the switches and everything goes excuse me but i have led and everything now i have led on the floor for the uh floor lights which i know you can kind of see but i'll do a video about all the lights i have in this car like i did for my tahoe um because i have some coming so that way i can go ahead and start putting lights in this car um i have to buy new headlight housings because they're starting to yellow so that'll be a different video and then i still have to show this car off so i'll do that here in just a minute but anyways that's all i got for you guys right now i will see you in the next one